right guys, well, Hurricane Ian is on its way. It's actually hitting the Florida coast right now. Um, it's not supposed to be terrible um, for South Carolina, I don't think, but the guys at uh, CHS, which is Charleston International Airport, told everybody that keeps their airplanes as signature that they need to evacuate the airplanes. I don't have my airplane in a hangar. Um, we are a little bit inland, so I think we're expecting 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts at certain points, which is a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to prepare my airplane as best as I possibly can without a hangar when you have to tie your airplane down outside. Here we go. Right, guys just got to the airport it's already getting pretty windy i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do um so i've already got the airplane tied down this airplane's a lot heavier than my last airplane so i'm already not as worried about it uh, my last airplane the cessna got damaged in a windstorm it wasn't a hurricane but the wind was so strong that i had a i had a gust lock in here and the uh, elevator was down like down in the back and the wind came from the backside so strong that it pushed the plane into the ground and it destroyed my um, tie down back here and it uh, destroyed like a camera mount that I had on there so uh, definitely gonna make sure it doesn't happen to this one uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a brace for the back of it so that can't happen it's gonna hold the back uh, from coming down which will keep the nose wheel on the ground that's the main thing I don't have a tie down for the front of the plane so I can only tie down the wings and the tail um, but you want to make sure that that nose wheel stays on the ground, doesn't bounce up and down, hurt the nose wheel. Also, it prevents the plane from moving around. So I'm going to chalk it and build something for the back here. It should only take a few minutes, then we'll get out of here. But um, I'm also going to make sure the straps are good. And that's what we're going to do. Peace. Tight. I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit and uh, make sure that it doesn't move. And now I gotta make sure that this doesn't break loose and become a projectile and damage another plane. That's another big thing you gotta make sure you do if you do something like this out on the ramp. I got going on so eyelids on both sides strap going over the top I don't like where that is on the Mooney it's kind of like I'll show you <laughs> kind of bridges this gap and this is pretty flimsy it's not that sharp but uh, not ideal but it's the only way I can make it work right now um, and really this isn't doing anything it's not holding the plane down it's just making sure that if this were to come loose or move at all that it doesn't go flying into someone else's airplane, something like that. So that strap down, I use the access to go through this loop and kind of hold it to this. Um, again, just to make sure that this thing doesn't come loose because you don't want that. Um, but this keeps the back of the plane from coming down, which keeps the nose wheel of the airplane on the ground, um, which should prevent it from moving. Like I said, it's, this is a much heavier airplane than my last one, but I should do it. Alright, 
All right, guys, that's all I got for you on this one. Like I said, I came up with this idea after I had all that damage to my Cessna from that windstorm. Um, after that, I use this every single time I tie the Cessna down. I don't do it with the Mooney every time, like I said, because it's heavier. Um, but this is an awesome hack for if you guys are having to tie your plane down during a big storm, something like that. This is what I'm doing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. Um, we got some cool ones coming up. I'm going to give you guys a full walk around of this uh, Mooney. It's a 1966 M20E. All the cool, interesting, unique features uh, of a Mooney. Why I ended up going with a Mooney. Um, and the differences between it and my Cessna. Also got a video coming out on the Mooney transition training that I did with the guys from Mooney Pros. Um, best money I ever spent. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.